Disconnecting and removing not needed cable to electrical outlets from a metal junction box. Existing switch junction box from which the cable powering other electrical outlets will be disconnected and removed. Turn off the circuit breaker that powers this junction box. Remove the switch wall plate and unscrew the switch from the junction box. Fourteen three and fourteen two NM cable wires. White neutral wire. Bare ground wire. Black hot wire. Red second hot wire. Three-way switch front view. Three-way switch rear view. Ground wire terminal green screw. Hot wire common terminal, black screw. Hot traveler wires terminals, gold screws. If the cable to be removed is exposed, as in this case, it can be easily tracked down and removed. If the cable is not exposed, locate the correct cable by following the procedure described below. When you unscrew and pull the switch out, you will look inside the junction box and see. It is a three-way switch in a junction box. With four cables entering it. The ground wires from all cables are spliced together. And connected to the grounding screw of the three-way switch. The three white, neutral, wires of the three two wire cables are connected together. The black common screw of the three-way switch has a black wire, from one of the two wire cables connected to it. The red and white marked hot wires connected to the switch traveler terminals come from a three wire cable. The black wires from two two wire cables and a three wire cable are connected together inside the junction box. What does it mean when a junction box with this type of switch is made like this? In option 1, this means that the power from the two wire cable from the power source comes to the black switch screw and the two two wire cables which black wires are spliced with black wire from three wire cable go to the two separate light outlets. In option 2, when the black wire of the two wire cable is connected to the black screw on the switch, that cable goes to the light outlet. And one of the two two wire cables, whose black wires are connected to the black wire from the three wire cable, comes from the power source and the other goes to the other electrical outlets. If you are sure that the cable to the second electrical outlet is coming out of this junction box, then it is definitely one of the two two wire cables that have their black wires connected to the black wire from the three wire cable. In this situation you just need to find which cable goes to the other electrical outlet. If you are not sure whether the cable to the other electrical outlets comes from this junction box, you first need to determine which cable is connected to the black screw on the three-way switch. To determine which cable is connected to the black screw on the three-way switch, make sure the hot switch terminals are free in the air and not touching any metal objects. Restore power. Use a non-contact voltage tester to check if there is voltage. 
in the wire connected to the common terminal black screw of the switch when a voltmeter is used as a tester the presence of voltage should be verified by placing the voltmeter leads between the black screw of the switch and the neutral white or ground wires if power is present move the switch handle to the other position if the tester does not show the presence of power it means that the cable whose black wire is connected to the black screw of the switch is going to the light outlet if after the switch handle has been switched to other position the power to the wire connected to the black screw of a three-way switch alternates between present and absent. The cable to which this connected wire belongs always goes to the light outlet. If, after the switch handle has been switched to other position, the power to the wire connected to the black screw of a three-way switch is always present. The cable to which this connected wire belongs comes from the power source. In this example, the power switches between the present and absent when the switch handle is flipped to the other position, meaning that the cable whose wire is connected to the black screw on the switch goes to the light outlet. Turn off the power. To find the cable to the other electrical outlets, from the cables whose black wires are connected to each other remove spliced wires from the junction box Disconnect the black wires. Set aside the black wire. From the three-wire cable as this wire powers the second three-way switch when the black wire connected to the switch is from the cable to the light outlet. Using wire nuts. Secure the ends of the black wires from the two two-wire cables. Restore power. Use a non-contact voltage tester or voltmeter to check which black wire of the two two wire cables is hot. The black wire from the cable from the power source will show power, while the black wire from the cable to the other electrical outlets will show no power. Mark the hot black wire or remember which one is hot. Turn off the power. All wires in the three-way switch junction box have been exposed and labeled. Sketch of the actual connection in the junction box before disconnecting the cable to the other electrical outlets. Cable to the other electrical outlets that will be removed. Sketch of the connection in the junction box after disconnecting and removing the cable to other electrical outlets. To make it easier to pull out the unwanted cable, cut the cable inside the junction box near the cable connector. The wire is cut inside the junction box near the cable connector. Remove the green wire nut and disconnect the ground wire from the cut cable. Then re-tighten the remaining ground wires using the same wire nut or cut the pigtail wire at the green wire nut and remove the wire nut.
The ground pigtail wire is cut. The green wire nut will be removed. And the wires cut from the cable to be removed will be disconnected from the existing connections. Take a ground wire of the same thickness for the pigtail and connect it to the ground wires from the junction box. Pigtail wire Connected to ground wires from junction box using a wire nut Disconnect the cut neutral wire, white and hot wire, black, from the cable to be removed. Cleared connections from cut wires of cable to be removed. Remove the cut cable and cable connector from the knockout in the junction box. Knockout in junction box opened after cable removal. 1 half inch junction box knockout filler smooth side one half inch junction box knockout filler spring tabs side the filler tabs spring during insertion and release once the filler is inserted holding it in place insert the knockout filler into the open knockout in the junction box from the outside or inside Knockout filler inserted into the open knockout from outside and from inside. Insert the connected wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire outside the box. Connected wires inside the junction box and the pigtail wire left outside the box. Trim the pigtail wire to no less than 6 inches and make a loop at the end of the wire. Loop made at the end of the wire. Connect the ground wire to the ground terminal of the switch, green screw. Ground wire connected. Insert the switch wires into the junction box. Make sure the ground wire does not touch any hot terminal of the switch. Secure the switch to the junction box and install the switch wall plate. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.